So as we all know, Travis Scott dropped this highly awaited album, Utopia, last year. In the meantime though, I feel like Utopia has definitely become one of his most respected albums. It had a lot of hype to live up to, and I feel like he definitely delivered in my opinion. Even though it left a lot of fans with mixed feelings in the beginning, and a lot of them thought it didn't reach their expectations. But I actually really enjoyed this project. And you know, the success behind this album is actually insane, with Utopia already surpassing 3 billion streams, and it hasn't even been a year since the album released. Also, following his successful Circus Maximus tour and becoming the first rapper to ever sell out the SoFi Stadium. But one thing I didn't see was a lot of people immediately talk about the next album. For a bunch of artists, that's always the case. They drop an album and fans are immediately speculating on what the next one's gonna be, how can he go further from the previous one, and what's the next step in the evolution of process will be. And I really didn't see this for Travis. Now what's interesting is that Travis actually has been hinting new music these past few months. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year in November during the Circus Maximus tour, Travis posted an Instagram story of him recording music backstage, and he quoted and said before every show. So even back then, you know, we kind of got a hint, or him even saying that, you know, he's making music before every show. Now, you know, a lot of fans were talking about a Utopia Deluxe, which I don't see Travis actually doing that because, you know, these past three albums, we can obviously see that, you know, Travis was really never a big deluxe guy. But yeah, you know, the fans obviously started to talk about this and speculate what this could be about. And here's the interesting part that you guys probably have already seen. Somebody posted or tweeted this earlier this year and said, imagine an album where each song is the city it was made in on the tour. So this was just a speculation from a fan which would be a crazy theme for his next album since, you know, he is touring around the whole country. So he could have, you know, some sort of connection or sound or, you know, vibe connected to each city and then use that in songs he's creating before every show. But the interesting part is that, you know, Travis actually responded to this and he said, are you in my brain or what? So this obviously shows that he was aware of this tweet and it only took him a day to respond. So he's creating this new album while being on tour, visiting all these different cities, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. And this is pretty much confirmation that, you know, this is the new theme of the new album. Now, the worst part about this is that we probably won't even end up getting this anytime soon, which I really don't mind because, you know, Travis is going to make sure, you know, this album is perfected in all aspects. I'm pretty sure, you know, we don't want Travis to just rush this project out and skip all the process and all this extra shit and just give it out to us, you know. He's going to make sure, you know, everything is perfected and then, you know, the mixing and mastering and then distributing the project and then having it to release, that's going to even take about almost a year or probably even half a year. But yeah, this is the first hint as to what his next album could bring. And I believe it's going to be interesting when we actually get the album and look back on this video and the tweet and see how this was all connected to it. Now, if we look at the history of how Travis drops his music, there was actually an album that dropped between that five year gap known as Jack Boys which was a collective project with Travis Scott and the Cactus Jack label. During Travis Scott's tour for Utopia, there was a video that surfaced where a fan asked him, is Jack Boys 2 in the works? And Travis, in other words, said yes. Travis, I fucking love you, bro. Jack Boys 2 in the works? Yo, we Let's love go, you, baby. Bro. Thank you. Which, at the end of the day, this could mean nothing because, you know, we've seen artists like Cardi and Kanye do the same shit just to get the fans hyped for what's next. And we also have gotten no information on Jack Boys 2. But if Jack Boys 2 end up dropping, you know, towards the end of the year or even next year, I feel like that would be amazing to see. Especially seeing the evolution of Don Tolliver, Shaq West, and Sofago. And talking about Sofago, I also do feel like, you know, this will be a good light on him due to the fact that, you know, still to this day, a lot of fans definitely want to see, you know, Travis and Fago finally work together. So this would be the perfect chance and, you know, making more songs with you know, Don Tolliver, and potentially, you know, Sheck West. Like, just imagine the song that they can all create. Like, hearing Travis, Don, Sheck West, and Sofago on one track, like, they got so much versatility that they can make either a rage, a high tempo, or even a melodic song. Like, I feel like they can make, like, a crazy-ass track, and it don't even matter what the vibe is. And also, I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, the whole label is actually headlining for Summer Smash in June, so... You know, we could possibly get something new from them, or even a tease for Jack Boys 2, maybe. And also, let me know in the comments down below, do you guys think, you know, when Jack Boys 2 come out, could it potentially be better than the original Jack Boys that first dropped back in 2019? Because, you know, going back to that track list, you know, if they was to drop Jack Boys 2 this year or next year, I really hope there's at least, you know, more than 7 tracks. Like, we should get at least 12 to 14, or even, you know, 16, 17 tracks. Because I feel like they can make a good variety. And like the, the first Jack Boys that dropped in 2019, you know, we only got like 
tracks like Gang Gang, Out West, What To Do, and Gotti. Like, those were obviously the best tracks on there. And I really feel like we didn't need the Highest In The Room remix because I, I know we can all agree. And if not, I'm going to stand on this. Like, the Highest In The Room solo with just Travis the single is definitely better than this. So I feel like they could have definitely subbed this in with a whole nother track. And if they was going to have, you know, had enough on Don Tolliver's project when it dropped in 2020, I don't see why they had this on Jack Boys then because, you know, they could have also subbed this in with a whole nother track. So, you know, the hype for Jack Boys 2 and my expectations for it will be definitely at a high level due to the fact that, you know, even when this project dropped, you know, a lot of people had mixed feelings about this. And I feel like now, like I said in the beginning, seeing the evolution from all the artists, especially Travis and, you know, obviously Sofago, Don Tolliver and Sheck West. We can definitely see some crazy shit of them make together. So yeah, man, like I'm really excited for this. And you know, we don't even know when this is gonna drop. You know, I'm just saying it could possibly be this year towards the end of the year or even next year. You know, we don't know yet. You know, this shit probably will never come. But you know, if it does end up dropping, I really do feel like they're going to deliver. And yeah, man. But yeah, in the meantime, I do feel like Travis is just going to continue to ride the Utopia wave, you know, until he feels like it's the perfect time to drop a single or the album again. Especially witnessing what he did with Astro Road, he could just also stay low key throughout the years and months and just perform the songs at these festivals like Rolling Loud, Summer Smash, and other festivals around the world, or even events if he ends up hosting or doing any. And he also previewed, you know, a new snippet a few months ago. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I'll play the clip right here. And as y'all can see, you know, that shit is hard as fuck, bro. Now, you know, the bad part about all of this is he did preview the whole song. So, you know, usually when artists preview a whole song, you know, the chances of it dropping is very low due to the fact that he did preview the full song, like I said. So, you know, this is probably just going to be in the vault. And, you know, I know a lot of fans probably will be mad that, you know, this song won't be dropping, which is OK, because, you know, it could potentially just get leaked or, you know, he probably already made better songs than this. So we probably will even end up getting a better song than what we just heard. And yeah, man, because, you know, Travis is always focusing and just producing, you know, quality music. So either we might get, you know, a couple new singles this year or next year, or we could possibly get, you know, more features like he did for Kanye West and Nicki Minaj and other artists. But yeah, this is the end of the video. So make sure you guys please hit that like button, subscribe button, and turn on post notice so you guys get notified when I drop a new Travis vid. For all my Travis fans, if you're watching this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man, because, you know, we do content about Travis cardi kanye opium and a lot of your favorite artists so make sure you guys please do that and also let me know in the comments down below what's your thoughts on travis scott currently like do you see travis dropping a new single this year could we potentially get something new as summer smash or rolling loud if he does get booked for you know miami in december and yeah man it's your boy stealthy season and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace